As one of the most watched original shows on Netflix, Squid Game has risen to the top of everyone's list of favorite shows. Season 2 promises even darker competitions. In the initial season, everyday people burdened by crushing financial stress were lured into a secretive competition with fatal consequences for losers. Death might be on the line, but for these contestants, the chance to escape a life of constant stress and financial turmoil is worth the risk. Squid Game skyrocketed to success, capturing the hearts of both critics and viewers alike. Now Netflix is expanding the Squid Game universe with multiple spin-offs in the works. The question isn't whether Season 2 is coming, it's all about how long you'll have to wait to go back into the world of Squid Game. While a specific date is still under wraps, the news confirms that Squid Game is set to make its return in 2024. The creator, Huang Dong Hyuk, has officially confirmed the existence of Squid Game Season 2. Season 1's allure was fueled by the intense challenges the contestants confronted, and Dong Hyuk is committed to delivering even more deadly games in the upcoming season. The question is whether Squid Game Season 2 will introduce entirely new games or offer a mix of both old and new challenges, leaving fans on the edge of their seats. Given the production timeline shared earlier, fans can expect the popular Netflix series to grace their screens toward the end of the year, with May 2024 being the earliest wrap-up of filming. Considering the effects-heavy nature of the show, a few additional months for post-production are in the cards. The cast for Squid Game Season 2 has already generated buzz, with some members confirmed through a casting video unveiled at the Netflix ta event. The surviving cast from the first season, including Lee Jung-jae as Song Ji-hoon, Lee Byung-hun as Hwang In-ho, Wee Ha-joon as Hwang Jun ho and Gong Yu as the recruiter are all set to make a return. Squid Game Season 2 is not just bringing back familiar faces, but also introducing 12 new cast members. While details about their characters remain a secret, the lineup includes Kang Ha-nul, Yim Si-hwan, Park Sung-hoon, Yang Dong-gwen, Park Gi-young, Jo Yu-ri, Kang A-sim, Lee David, Lee Jin-uk, Choi Song-hyun, Ro Jae-hwan, and Won Ji-an. Squid Game Season 1 left us with an ending that undeniably hinted at the potential for a sequel. While many speculated about a different setup, one not centered around the game itself, the sole survivor, Ji-hoon, appeared to be on a mission to dismantle the organization, orchestrating the deadly competitions rather than embracing a peaceful life with his daughter. It's less likely that Ji-hoon would willingly re-enter the game, even if enticed by the recruiter. Ji-hoon's daughter might become leveraged, pulling him back into the scary game. With the apparent end of Il-nam, the creator within the Squid Game universe, the stakes may be raised, leading to an even more unjust game than before. As Squid Game Season 2 unfolds, the return of Jun ho to the cast raises intriguing questions. Did he survive his brother's bullet, and was the frontman's intention not to kill, but to save his sibling? As we eagerly wait for Squid Game Season 2, there's a big mystery that might not be on everyone's mind. What happened to the people who won the Squid Game before? Back in 2021, Netflix brought us the first season of this intense Korean thriller. It follows a guy facing tough times who joins a strange game for a shot at winning a huge prize. The catch? To win, you have to be the last one standing after a series of dangerous challenges. Looking back at the end of Squid Game Season 1, we're left with a lot of questions for Season 2. What happened to those who survived? Besides the main characters we love, Squid Game Season 2 has to dive into the bigger mysteries of the deadly game, where it takes place, why it exists, and how long it's been happening. In Squid Game Season 1, we learned that the deadly games weren't a one-time thing, but rather an annual event where wealthy people placed bets while watching anonymously. If the Squid Game continues into the present, it suggested past winners must have been kept quiet. The show also revealed that the current frontman was once a winner. So how does the system really work? Do renters receive their prize money, and why haven't they spoken out? Now that Ji-hoon is a winner, exploring life after the Squid Game is crucial. It's not just about Ji-hoon's perspective. Hearing from other winners would provide valuable insights. This approach would not only make the storyline better, but also offer a chance to go deeper into new aspects of the expansive Squid Game universe. We've witnessed the intense games, now it's time to explore the aftermath and unveil unseen areas of this world. Introducing past winners into Squid Game Season 2 
could add an exciting dimension to the story. Now that Ji Hoon is a winner himself, the possibility of forming alliances or facing off against other past winners opens up a lot of possibilities. These individuals might aid him in his quest to dismantle the Squid Game, or they could have their motives creating alliances or conflicts for selfish reasons. Including past winners introduces a fresh cast of diverse characters, forcing Ji Hoon to decide whom to trust. It's like a new version of the games, but on a broader scale. Squid Game Season 1 cleverly set the stage for Ji Hoon's revenge in Season 2 through Jun Ho's storyline. Ji Hoon has a few ways to infiltrate the Squid Games in the upcoming season, and the card he stole from the salesman's latest target provides one possible entry point. However, making significant changes from within the tournament itself might prove challenging. Ji Hoon has witnessed how the allure of winning a substantial prize can transform people, and he understands that only one person can emerge victorious. A more strategic approach for Ji Hoon to seek vengeance is to become part of the Squid Games from within perhaps as a guard or a higher-level worker. While this may sound like a daunting task, Jun Ho's storyline in Squid Game Season 1 demonstrate that it's indeed possible. On a mission to locate his missing brother, Jun Ho successfully infiltrates the tournament as one of the masked guards, managing to maintain the disguise for a significant period. Although he is eventually discovered before the end of the season, Jun Ho's revelation about his brother being the frontman sets the groundwork for Ji Hoon to follow a similar path in Season 2. Thanks to Jun Ho's slip-up and Ji Hoon's call, the Squid Game bigwigs might be on red alert. Now, Jun Ho had a pretty solid shot at taking down the games from the inside, given his law enforcement background. Sure, Ji Hoon might not have Jun Ho's undercover skills, but guess what? He's been in the Squid Games himself. Unlike Jun Ho, who stumbled upon the chaos, Ji Hoon knows the ropes. He's got the inside details, and that changes everything. Armed with his experience, Ji Hoon's got a chance to outsmart the game planners. While Jun Ho had to wing it, Ji Hoon's got time to plan, and that could be his secret weapon when things get crazy in the next round of Squid Games. Moreover, Ji Hoon has a leg up on Jun Ho by not having a family connection to the frontman. Unlike Jun Ho, Ji Hoon doesn't hold back when it comes to taking on the leader. Jun Ho's shock at discovering his brother's role catches him off guard, and the emotional turmoil jeopardizes his mission, leading to his capture. Ji Hoon, on the other hand, brings a different kind of emotional investment, one that can fuel his quest for revenge as long as he keeps his anger in check. Even without law enforcement training, Ji Hoon has an advantage in maneuvering through the games. While Jun Ho's efforts in Season 1 didn't dismantle Squid Game, they laid the groundwork for Ji Hoon's revenge mission in Season 2, offering a more direct path to success. Despite the belief that Jun Ho met his end in a showdown with a frontman, his unexpected return in Squid Game Season 2 means he can become an unexpected ally in Ji Hoon's vendetta against the games. Which of these storylines are you looking forward to? Do you have your own theories? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.